So, got this little AR-15 300 blackout 10 inch barrel Bear Creek and it gives me fits when chambering rounds. This thing is also extremely dirty, but I got it fairly sighted in with my little laser here. See that green dot on the table here? Oh, green laser. Action. So, I sighted in well enough, I can Fuck around a bit. Each one of these is like a dollar, dollar twenty a, cent a charge. But, you know, that's why we work. So we can enjoy what we have and or survive. So. actually kind of loud to be real um, and it's extremely dirty so I don't see any advantage over this as what I have set up in my G3 um, other than 10 extra rounds but it gives me a, a 220 grain bullet that's from Federal suppressor OTM subsonic 220 grain bullet going about 930 930 feet a second so I can gain a lot from a G3 for my hand loads, but I haven't yet hand loaded for 300 blackout yet because there is data for 260 grain um, jacketed bullets. Here's just a box of 20 here. There is data for 260 grain bullets for the 300 blackout. Pretty wild hearing all the ricochets. Kicks a lot of gas and particulate up in my face. If you were to get a 300 blackout, and this is just off the bolt carrier group, if you were to get a 300 blackout, I highly recommend you run, wear an eye protection with this. Um, that's confident that kind of gas seals against your face because you can see if it'll focus there. So look, this middle finger is clean. fairly clean and now you can see there's quite a bit of particulate in it because it has quite a bit of unburned powder for this these subsonics pretty sure that's the one two three four and there's the fifth one down there pretty sure that's the last of my ammunition I have it sighted in. It does wander on this 
semi-public range, so bear with me. I have it sighted in now. Uh, it was a little bit of a bitch to sight in. Um, it does wander on the zero a little bit, but it's good enough for government work. So I'm gonna take my brass and uh, yeah, so expect it maybe, I don't know, depends what the winds take, where the winds take me. But uh, kind of half ass expect to see some 300 blackout content on my channel. Um, other than just this. And then um, start, I really want to start getting into my PSL. So um, start expecting to see more PSL videos. I'm going to do a little bit of some hijinkery training where I just sit and lay there and stare through the scope and try to get actual um, training in where, you know, you learn how to be comfortable and whatnot behind a rifle for long periods of time, well, fairly long periods of time. So, yeah. Three hundred blackout ain't cheap. That's what I'm gonna hand load for it, and I'm gonna probably cast for it, and I'm gonna cast that custom mold that I have for it, and see what it does. I just gotta get dies and some shit around for my X10 because I'm gonna dedicate probably dedicate my X10 to three hundred blackout and dedicate the uh, dealer into seven sixty by fifty four R. So I can work on those two projects after I load up on my 308 brass with my uh, powder-coated bullets that I have left. So anyways, thanks for watching.